this is going to be the main event offset season finale. The Walker Clan will take on the Sanctuary Team. The Walker Clan has already gained victory after victory tonight. The scoreboard is heavily one-sided. And you see now the members of the Walker Clan draped in gold. Being able to tout their victories tonight. With John West in tow as well, the newest member of the Walker clan. Prince Ahmed successfully defending his spotlight championship. Chaco and Face, the Faceless Ones, regaining their tag team championships. Jay Bougie and Savage winning their respective uh, matches as well. And the Walker clan looks about as fresh as a daisy in the summertime. And I'll tell you what, Team Sanctuary did not look very good after their matches with the uh, extra little beatdowns each one of them received. But we forgot about something here. There's an extra element to this match that we forgot about. We have a special guest referee. Yes, we do have a special guest referee. Adding an extra interesting element of intrigue. Well, if, if you notice, every member of the Walker clan is here except for one. And here comes the dark horse. The king of the sanctuary, Johnny Moran, the dark horse is going to fill out your team here for Team Walker. The man who has more accolades in the sanctuary than any other stunt fighter that has come through these doors. He has gathered up every title that there has been. He has won every tournament that there has been. Johnny Moran can claim superiority in the sanctuary. Yeah. And there is no one, when looking at the statistics, who can argue that fact. And this sanctuary crowd letting the Walker clan know they are not on their side. Johnny looks focused, laser focused. And it's interesting to see that Johnny Moran gets his own entrance. And I wonder how the rest of the members of the Walker clan feel about that. Well, I mean, he just walked over and sat on his said throne. And here we go, the Sanctuary's uh, last shot at redemption. Although, as per usual, the odds are not in their favor. J.S. Hawthorne, Corey Orion. Hawthorne losing in a submission match. Orion being knocked out cold. Gordy Palco going into a tag team match alone and being eliminated. Andre Polino almost getting his arm ripped out of socket by Jay Bougie. As much as I hate to admit it, it doesn't look good for the Sanctuary. However, perhaps the one wild card that could help them in this fight, Marcy Cabrera is squarely in their corner. And he could be the one to turn the tide here and help the sanctuary to regain composure and help bring more 
of a feeling of uh, control here in the sanctuary. At the very least, they're certainly looking for a measure of revenge. And they're going to have to go into this, ma this match one man short. Because just like the, the uh, jo uh, Palco not having Matt Quay here tonight as his tag team partner, the Sanctuary team's going to have to go with one short member as well. So already the numbers game is being played and putting the san Team Sanctuary behind the eight ball here. Well, they're, sh they're short one and, and Team Walker gained a member tonight with John West. six competitors for the Walker clan. The stage is set, all the players are on the board, and all that's left is to start the game. This stunt fight is going to uh, have major implications going into the next season of the Sanctuary Stunt Studio. Just on the card, special referee. Who could it be? Oh. You know what else I noticed? Everything that happens in my building, Walker. Everything. This place, ever since the past guest has left us, is surrounded in cameras. Oh man, our, our card here, paper said special referee and that's gonna answer it. It's going to be John Trotsky. Hey. 
worry. I'm a man of my word. Lord, I write down the minutes. Do you believe him? Well, <laughs> I, I kind of have to at this point. <laughs> I mean, we want to come back next season. So uh, just put a question mark there for the ones watching at home. John Trotsky, an excellent choice, I suppose, as the guest referee. He will uh, he will do a supreme job of uh, of, of officiating this match, and I'm, I'm sure he'll be great at it. I'm sure he'll play both sides. Uh, I mean, call it down the middle. You can see the huddle just broke. The uh, the Walker clan on the outside clearly getting on the same page, calling an audible, realizing how the dynamic now has changed. And making a quick change to their uh, to their approach. And they didn't ask us. I would have said yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to see a fight. I would have waited two more minutes. I was just going to take a drink here real quick. But anyway, that does not matter what I think. The elimination gauntlet match has commenced. Every single person eliminated will head back to the back, and the last man standing will win this contest for their said brand, which would be either the Sanctuary or the Walker Clan. Whoa! And a major player in animate, regardless of the Walker clan just got taken out of this equation. Trotsky will do it, he's crazy. I definitely will, I'm not putting it past him at all. And we're off. Ooh. Oh. Perhaps sending a message right out, right away, reminding JS Hawthorne that they are outnumbered. That corner is uh, incredibly stacked and has one more member in it than uh, than theirs. You know, it, it, coming to think about it now, they completely took Matt Quay out of the equation. He left in the ambulance. And they thought to themselves, who's one other person could be a, a, a factor here for this team? And, and the answer would have been Travis, right? I mean, Travis would have easily even up these odds. Sure. And they took him completely out of competition. So they calculated and made sure that the Sanctuary is going to be shorthanded here tonight. A cerebral tactician. Billy Walker knew exactly what to do to put himself in this position with his team. Incredible foresight. But now we're going to see J.S. Hawthorne up against Jay Bougie. I think we just saw him send a, a palm strike to the jaw of Jay Bougie. Bougie looking for a, a test of strength against the uh, much larger yeah. man. Especially when I wanted a really good death grip. Backing up into the corner now. Oh! Going for the eyes right away. He said, are you watching? And Jay Bougie said, well, you're not going to be able to because I'm going to gouge your eyeballs out. Going right for the eyes and wrenching on that head, getting more damage to the, the neck that's already been worked over throughout the night and tagging in Savage. Oh! Wow. Coming in like a wrecking ball, and I'm not going to sing it because he just crushed him in that corner and then laid in the chops. And adding insult to injury, the, the rest of the members of the Walker clan just cheering and guffawing over the uh, punishment being doled out to J.S. Hawthorne. And I was about to say, J.S. Hawthorne is probably the weak link, not because he's any less uh, uh, able, but because... He, he took such a beating in his uh, prior match, but I'm thinking he, that you can say that about anybody else on his team except for Marcy Cabrera. But 
you can say that about three of the other uh, members of Team Sanctuary. And now the previously victorious Jay Bougie. Oh, Palco trying to pull him in. Oh! The way he uses every inch of his body to curl himself up and explode out of that ball into that huge drop kick. Oh no, the Egyptian torture oh. expert comes in with, his, with a knee strike. For anyone who's been watching the show earlier will be familiar with this matchup as we just saw Prince Ahmed pick J.S. Hawthorne apart. And now he's continuing wanting to end what he started earlier. Jocko now turned up, uh, now tagged in. Oh, goes to the leg. And this is just, they're, they're having a good time at this point. Hawthorne is just easy pickings right now. Well, everyone coming into this match is not coming in 100%, except the, the captain of the sanctuary. He's the only one that hasn't competed here tonight. And the captain of the uh, of the team Walker, Johnny Walker. There's only two people here who haven't competed already tonight, and some of them left, uh, left very worse for wear. Now picked back up and kept in the wrong corner. They are cutting the ring off for Hawthorne, but Hawthorne now trying his best. Oh, spearing face right out of his boots. He's looking the wrong way though. That beating has, has definitely put him in a wrong spot. Oh man. Oh, human, huge German suplex. He was so close. He was just inches away from tagging out. And now Savage. Oh, big second rope wow. splash. I mean, they're just toying with him at this point. That guy is built like a bulldozer. It's like they're, they're taking turns taking pot shots at this man. I mean, it's it's far from a stunt fight now. This is just a, a, a straight up mugging. These guys are just taking turns. Oh my God. Using the momentum of his Savage, throwing him into the corner, bouncing off the second rope and driving his feet directly through the chest and into the back of J.S. Hawthorne. Going for that cover two count only. And Ahmed bringing him back to the wrong corner, keeping him tied up while tagging someone else in. Doesn't even care who. Savage once again wants to get him some, wants to get him a little more. It's almost like a training session, like they've got a training dummy in there. They're trying out, they're trying out stuff. Hawthorne is just oh, barely wait, wait able to stay. Wait up. a second. I don't think our cameras caught it, but uh, Bougie has something. Oh, oh no! He had that pen. He just used Mink. Mink the frying pan just made an appearance in this in this match. Palco's had enough. He's in trying to send Bougie out, but and here we go. All hell is broken loose. Oh, forget about it. Complete and utter chaos. It's all broken down, folks. Team Sanctuary getting a little bit of a semblance here. In the momentum game, I would say uh, that's that's a huge shift of the pace of, of, of for the for the Team Sanctuary. But now, even in the midst in the midst of the chaos, Jocko able to put Hawthorne back into the corner and continue the onslaught. Very, very smart of him to, to make him get back in that corner so they can't make that tag. Oh no, Savage oh, with that knee! God. We've seen so much of that here tonight. And he's, it, that's it, it's just gotta be over. Hawthorne's done. Yep. And our, our first elimination, Team Sanctuary is down to four members now the elimination of J.S. Hawthorne. And now they're rolling Hawthorne out. I mean, it's the only thing that they can do at this point. And now Orion has taken Hawthorne's spot. Now he's the legal man taking it directly to Savage. But Savage keeping himself in his own corner, 
so that Orion has to continue to try and bring him out just enough time so that his teammates can pounce and keep him in the corner there. Oh. Prince Ahmed driving his foot right into his gut. Oh, yeah, Andre Pulido losing his mind in that corner, trying to get him to get going here. Oh, man, with that shining wizard taking Orion down. And now it's almost like Orion just decided to take... He's the sacrificial lamb that, that was plopped into place to replace J.S. Hawthorne. I think they just... They, they called him out. Wait, did they... Did I miss his elimination? Yeah, I think he just got knocked out. I'm over here yammering on and, and missed the, the elimination. Corey O'Ryan also eliminated, and we're down to three on six. Oh, they're like hungry wolves. They have not lost a single member, and we're down to three on Team Sanctuary. Prince Ahmed now in. Oh! Goes directly after Palco. Jeez. Off the ropes goes Palco, ducks a clothesline, gets the waist lock, rolls through, gets a two count only on that cover. Tries it again. No! What? Oh, wait! We have an elimination! Oh, and he's gonna make him pay for it, Savage. We don't even have time to celebrate. Prince Hamed has been eliminated from the Billy Walker clan. Oh. We are down to three on five. Palco just pinned the spotlight champion. But now, is, like you said, is paying for it. Savage is in there, going to take his pound of flesh. I, I'm, I'm speechless. Yeah, I can't believe that just happened. The first elimination was Prince Ahmed. Regardless of that, Palco now, no reversal, off the ropes, here comes Savage! Oh! That's gonna do it. Oh my god. Incredible Lariat taking Palco down. Palco's still in this, but man, how much more punishment can these guys take? Yeah, it's it's I, I want to have hope. I want to have faith for Team Sanctuary, but it, it's hard. It's hard to get excited when you've seen what they've already been through here tonight Ooh. and how fresh the Walker clan is. It's, it's, I, I, I can't get confident. Oh, Savage in with a head of steam, but Palco out just in time. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. What? The strength. Wow. Where did that come from? Holds him up there for a moment just to show off a little bit. Good for him. Two count only, but man, what a feat of strength. Oh! Kick to the back of the head takes Palco down. He's close to his own corner, though. Palco almost wanting to, uh, uh, wanting to prove himself, not even caring about tagging out. Oh, has him in a full oh. Nelson. Oh. Dropped him directly on his spine. Bo Nelson into a Urinagi, and now Jay Bougie tagged back in. Bougie is, oh. is keeping Trusky. He's still got that, that frying pan. Mink the frying pan makes another appearance. One, two, and holy smokes. We're Andre down to two. Andre please not wasting any time. He has his knee pad down. Oh, Bougie turns around. Oh, Shining Wizard. He's out cold. The Baisaku name finds its mark. Jay and Bougie has been eliminated. Andre Polino gaining a bit of uh, revenge against Jay Bougie. Oh, oh, oh no. my God. He's not just getting one, he's getting two. The faceless ones both come in, but he's fighting back. Oh, <laughs> He, oh, took himself off his feet. Oh, it's a big knee. Being pounced on like a, by, by like a pack of wolves here. Oh. Polino, huge heart, but... 
It's just hard to, to compete up against the, the, the now two-time Sanctuary Tag Team Champions. But still, still fighting back on the outside there. Here comes Polino. And Face takes Marcy Cabrera out so that Polino can't tag out. Left alone in the ring. Jocko in now. Sizing up his opponent. Oh, nope. Doesn't want the test of strength. Gonna go right for the punch. Now Jocko wanting to uh, get a little revenge for his, for his teammate, Jay Bougie, who Andre Polino just took out. Trying to get that, that arm up for a, there it is, an abdominal stretch. Oh, just stretching him right out. Opening up that, that frame. Jocko's, yeah. he, he's, he's not a small man either. Oh, and he's gonna give a chop. Oh, digging into that, that, uh, that rib cage. Trying to get a handful of rib meat there. Oh, wait a minute, Cabrera, I think. I mean, uh, Polino. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. With his knee in the chest and throat, pulling up on him. And keeping him in place so that Savage can come in and size him up. Pick his spot. Bringing in their human, their human wrecking machine. This, this is not looking good for Andre Polito. But Polito not backing down. He's ready for the challenge. Savage says, all right, show me what you got. But Polito's going to do just that. Yeah, no matter how many limbs he shakes out, he's not going to gain about 250 pounds of muscle to fight this monster. He's asking for more. Oh, smart going for the legs there. Ah, another big strike. Couple of them coming off the ropes. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Turns him inside out. Painful to watch. Andre Polino picked up. Sent off the ropes. Oh, like a human crash test dummy. He just gets power bombed. Oh, God. Oh my goodness. Pop-up powerbomb into that expertly placed knee strike. Hits the chin. Polino might be out. You might be thinking to yourself, why are those knee strikes so effective? Well, that's because Savage's legs are as big as tree trunks. Oh, now you can see Polino can't even stand up on his own. He's trying to lock those hands. Oh! oh. oh. Rules him up! And we got a count! That's a three count! Savage is eliminated, and Cabrera in there with Polino. You're eliminated. Get out. Well, that elimination of Savage is going to bring the count to three to two. They are making some headway here. And we are left with the tag team champions of Jocko and Face and the Dark Horse, the king of the sanctuary, Johnny Moran. Oh! oh. Jocko takes a first shot at Cabrera. Cabrera. And Andre Polito with the huge, whoa! Oh, never mind. One, two, three. two count, only Polito still able to get the shoulder up, Are still you hanging in there. kidding me right now? I don't know how this kid's pulling it together like this. Oh, but it's not gonna last much longer. Not after this violence party. Oh, God! That's gotta be it, Face taking his time. I don't think he needs to hurry up on this one. Goes for the cover. And Polino's gone. We are down to Marcy Cabrera, standing alone against the King of the Sanctuary and the Tag Team Champions. Oh my God. And Polino almost, almost apologizing. It's almost like a big brother figure. He, 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 once Marcy left, Andre took that title and took that, that badge of honor of being the hometown hero and, and the man of Hazleton. And he, he just feels like he let his, his big brother down. Well, I think it's completely understandable to anybody who just witnessed the beating that, Cabrera, that, uh, that Andre Polino took 
And now Marcy Cabrera is in the ring and ready to strike back on in the name of the sanctuary. Face Cabrera just teeing off on each other. Oh, and if that, that's a scary thought to think if that's the guy who, does, who has the full gas tank tonight and Face can just land a shot like that to bring him right on the same page, that's a dangerous man in Face. Oh! And that has probably ended every single tag team match those two have been in is that tag team tandem. Samoan drop into a, a spinning neck breaker. Incredible, innovative offense. And another quick tag to face to keep the uh, momentum and the pace going. They're, they're gonna push a fast pace because they have the numbers game. Cabrera trying to fight back. Getting a good amount of offense in now. Oh, goes oh, to go no. for the ropes, but face keeps him in, brings him down with that cross face. Oh, wait a minute, tagging in Jocko. Off the ropes now. Oh my God. Face just opening up the face of Marcy Cabrera so Jocko can put two of his feet right into the bridge of his nose. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but the Dark Horse has yet to get into this matchup. Almost like he doesn't want to, uh, to uh, lower himself to become a part of this. Watching his subjects do the dirty work for him. Well, I mean, if, he, if, if that's what you got, I mean, you got to use it to your advantage, right? His paycheck stays the same, and if he doesn't break a sweat or not, he's the king. He feels like he doesn't have to get in there. Now Cabrera just being picked apart by the Walker clan. A three-on-one situation. That's a little fur away from the tag rope there. Oh, diving headbutt. I mean, I don't think John, uh, special referee John Trotsky wants to get into it. I mean, uh, you got to pick your battles in a situation like this. Another thing to keep an eye on here, while well, the rest of Team Sanctuary headed back to the locker room, slowly the Walker clan is joining their corner side, standing on the outside. They've never left. Now setting him up, looks like they're gonna go for it. Oh no! A little miscommunication! Jocko's all alone! Cabrera! Oh! Rolls him up! Two, and that's a three count! Jocko out of here! We're down to two on one! Face back in! I think Face just realized that his partner just got eliminated. He's gonna get rolled up too! And that's Whoa. a three count. And it all comes down to this. Well, the Dark Horse has been avoiding him action all night, but now he has no choice because we are down to the final two competitors. The Sanctuary's Marcy Cabrera, the Walker clan, the Dark Horse, Johnny Moran. It all comes down to this, this season finale. Deliver us from evil, one on one. Oh! oh. And Cabrera delivering those forearm shots right to the jaw of the King of the Sanctuary. Off the ropes. Whoa! Kick finds the mark. Moran on Dream Street. Big I don't think he knows where he's at. This might do it. Oh, a one count. One count only in Cabrera, although in a favorable position, still has a big mountain to climb as he has a bevy of... Uh, unofficial opponents surrounding ringside here. Johnny Moran getting his second win now. Oh, Walker, oh, Johnny, uh, Bad Billy Walker hooking those pines so he can't go anywhere. Oh, oh my God. Big clothesline in the corner. Cabrera nowhere to go. Flatliner now goes to the cover. One, two. Cabrera still in this. Still an opportunity for the Sanctuary to close out the season on top. Trotsky's letting a lot go here tonight as a referee. It almost makes you think all that stuff he said in the beginning was just lip service. Oh, I think he's aligning himself with the, with the clear winning team so he 
can keep that power of the sanctuary going into next season. Well, if I know John Trotsky at all, I know that he has plan A as well as B, C, D, all the way down to X, Y, and Z. One of the things I've heard him say is, when people think they're 10 steps ahead of me, I'm 30 ahead of them. Always looking forward, always working out all the angles. And uh, Johnny Moran is trying to figure out the best angle is with, at which to jam his knee directly between the shoulder blades of Marcy Cabrera here. Yeah, he's working all those angles in his spinal cord. Cabrera trying his best to power through, find his way back to a vertical base, fight back against this. So much on the line, more than bragging rights, more than titles. The ability to hold a banner high. Oh, back elbow, Cabrera. Turned around. Oh! Spiking DDT. Pulled out of nowhere, goes for the cover. Two, two. Still a two count. two count. Marcy Cabrera staying alive, fighting through this. And wondering what it's going to take to put him away. Cabrera is a fighter. He's got a huge heart. And it's going to take a whole lot to keep him down, especially knowing what's at stake. Moran picks him up. Fireman's carry position. Oh! Sends him crashing down, folds over the cover. Two whoa, count. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. John Trotsky did not count to three. That was other members of the of the uh, Walker clan that came down for that three count. No, hold, 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 hold on a second. Yeah, he said put. Moran said put the camera down and come talk to me. And Trotsky said, okay. Calling his bluff. He said put the effing camera down and rough a match. It's all about the art to John. He needs to, to refocus on this match, however. You don't want to take your focus off of a guy like Marcy Cabrera. But wait, lifts him up into the fireman's carry position once again, but Cabrera fighting out. Crucifix pin in the sanctuary. Oh! What? The winner. I mean, he technically won, but it doesn't look like it. Trotsky trying to call off the Wolves. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Wait a minute. What's going oh! on? Oh! It's good! Trotsky just kicked Johnny right in the man! <laughs> John Trotsky getting a bit of revenge. Being able to bring down that final three count. And now, uh, what is Ball Bell kicking him a little south of the equator? Well, John Trotsky just got out of town. But Marcy Cabrera is going to be your winner here from Deliverers from Evil. The Sanctuary, I mean, technically wins tonight, but oh. they're definitely not getting control of the Sanctuary. All alone here against the entire lineup of the Walker clan. I mean, somebody needs to, Cabrera doesn't stand a chance. They're gonna pick him apart. You know what, it, it's, it's looking like it's getting crazy. I'm getting out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. is 
mine, God damn kingdom. Mercy is gone. This is mine. This is the Walker clan. We own the sanctuary. No one walks in here without going through us.